And that's what you're teaching these kids. Correct. It's not just business. No. Okay. How to stand up like you had a pair. Which gets us into the snowflake. Oh. You hadn't used that word two years ago. No, I didn't. What's a snowflake? A snowflake is a kid, uh, a guy or a gal, mostly guys that melt under pressure. As opposed to what they tell me. You know, God, every snowflake is different, Mr. P. You know, there's not one snowflake that's the same as the other. The trillions and trillions and trillions. I said, yes, that's correct. That's correct. And he says, and so uh, we deserve to be here just like, no, that's not correct. Uh, in your opinion, snowflakes melt under pressure. I gave you a couple stats at dinner. I'm going to say them again. They're worth repeating. In 1986, the average uh, uh, man's handshake pressure was 118 pounds. 30-year-old man. I forgot to put the age. 118 pounds. 2016, 96 pounds. A woman, 1986, was 105 pounds. Today, 110 pounds. 110 pounds. Testosterone levels in sperm counts tested uh, 50 years ago. Uh, and today uh, they're producing 60 to 70% the amount of testosterone levels and sperm counts as they did. We're dying out. Why? The liberal media. No, it's not the liberal media. I mean, the, uh, I think World War II had a lot of positive effects on us. I'm a product of that generation. The greatest generation, they call it. Because uh, they came but, back but, as but, tough they, but, but it's like the, talking to the Japanese now. They're deathly afraid of everything because of the war, what they did. The, the Germans, uh, Merkel, God lover, I mean, supporting the EU because of uh, what I call German guilt, okay? Uh, everybody's scared to fucking death of uh, what might happen. And so they, 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 they want to come across as your friend. They don't, want, they don't want people to say bad things about you. They don't want to say, because Neville Chamberlain could have stopped Hitler 80 years ago. And so now we're overreacting. So the rubber band has been, you know, is going back too much the other way. And it's just unbelievable. The, um, the, the, my dad, you know, I'm glad, I'm glad he's not alive to see this. Because the, the, the more snowflakes we have, the less the, pro less the possibility of the earth making it. Okay, would okay. you want the earth to make and it? I, yeah, I do. Uh, and um, it's like my snowflake test. You know, the first question, uh, paraphrasing it, by the way, we have 95.4% of everybody, the th many thousands and tens of thousands that have taken the test are cunts. And I don't mean cunt, vag uh, vagina, I mean cowards. First question on the test, paraphrasing it, what would you do if somebody can't spit in your wife's face? And the answers range from, well, I, I try to ascertain what kind of day he was having. And if he had a bad day, I try to be understanding. Are you fucking shitting me? I'd be in prison for murder. I would beat the guy to death. Or if I couldn't beat him to death, I'd find somebody in a pipe to beat him to death. Is that what we need today? Everybody? No, no, I'm not saying that's me though. Okay. You, where you come, where I come from, the, the barrio, you spit in a, uh, in a guy's mother's face, you're a dead fucking man. I mean. And you'd like to see more of that in the no, world. I, Right now, we're way over at this end. Okay. You don't have to come all the way to my end. And the, the, but I mean, that's awful. I mean, and then there's 22, 23 questions. Uh, and they're just, they're just it, it, it's foreign to me that people would answer a question. I would try to ascertain what kind of day he was having. What the fuck does that have to do with spitting in your wife's face or your mother's face? All right, so you're trying to de-snowflake these men and women, get them to stand up, get them to go out, face and their fears. And they know they're snowflakes, and that's why they come to me, because they think I'm the alpha male dad they never had. They say during private time, I'm a cunt. I don't want to be a cunt. How can I change? My dad was a cunt. I mean, my, um, I hear my great-grandfather wasn't. He was an airborne ranger in World War II. I hear, but he was dead already. No, real, no male role models. When I was growing up, my dad's five or six best buddies were all tough fucking guys. So I didn't see anything different. I didn't see anything different. They were all just, you know, I, I, I tell the story. It's not a story. My cousin, uh, God, God love him. He went to jail 
uh, for being involved in stabbing a guy 17 times because somebody said, your girlfriend's got a fat ass. Looks like pigs in a gunny sack. He stabbed him 17 fucking times. Only by the grace of God, he couldn't stab it, right? And the guy didn't die. That's where you come from. Okay, and you're not advocating that, no, but you're not, saying not let's go more back to that no, no. spectrum. But I am advocating, advocating that the guys act like they had a pair.